I've been using my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro for over a year now, and since half of this time I've been shooting in Blackmagic RAW, which means opening DaVinci Resolve, importing my footage and exporting it into ProRes to do my editing in Final Cut Pro. But it would be easier if I did everything in Resolve. I will briefly discuss three new features in DaVinci Resolve 18 that have caught my attention. Also, I will be doing a giveaway with something related to Blackmagic Design, so get ready to take some notes in a few minutes. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Either way, grab your popcorn, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell. I'm Ruben and I love music, filming, learning, and living happier every day. DaVinci Resolve 18 is changing the whole game. As you can read on their website, it's like having your own post-production studio in a single app. Best of all, by learning DaVinci Resolve, you're learning how to use the same tools used by Hollywood professionals. I will give one of you a DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 license worth 285 euros or 295 US dollars for free. But you will say, but nothing is free in this world. And you're right. We're gonna do something really cool. Bear with me a little more, because there is even a second prize. So DaVinci Resolve and my three new favorite features. Believe me, if I can do it, <laughs> you can absolutely do it too. DaVinci Resolve 18 supports Blackmagic Cloud. You pay $5 a month and you can host your project libraries on the DaVinci Resolve project server in the cloud. It means you can share your projects and collaborate with editors, colleagues, friends, colorists, VFX artists, and audio engineers on the same project simultaneously. Yes, I repeat, simultaneously, anywhere in the world in real time. This is big, people. This is really big. The new death map effect lets you instantly generate a 3D death map on a scene to quickly grade the foreground separately from the background, and vice versa. You can bring attention to the action in the foreground, help interview subjects stand out, or add atmosphere to a scene's background. Now, this feature is not available within the free version. It is limited to the paid version, the one I'm going to be giving away today here. And this is because it uses DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine, an AI engine. But I want to show you what I'm talking about. So let's hop to my office for a second. Let's go. So here we are in the studio and I just wanted to do something that I saw on YouTube by uh, Darren Mustin, which is, by the way, an amazing channel if you want to learn about DaVinci Resolve, because I couldn't believe how easy it was. So um, I just want to show you. I just want to do it, actually, not show you, but I just want to do it again here with you to, to just so we can see how easy this is. So we are in DaVinci Resolve here, and uh, this is a little uh, footage that I that I imported here, and I quickly color graded. And uh, we're gonna go to the effects, and let's let's bring this this title here, for example. Uh, all right, this one, and let's put it on top of my footage. Let's open it here a little bit, as we normally would do with anything. And we see the title. Let's let's bring this title a little bit bigger here. Let's open here and let's make the title bigger like this. Okay, even bigger. Now that's 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 good. All right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this um, video effect here. We press Option and we duplicate it and we put it on the top. Now on the top we don't see the text of course if we wanted to track this we would have to mask everything frame by frame so it would be a pain in the neck we're gonna go to effect again we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna go to death map so what we're gonna do is that we want to drag that map on the, this uh, on this footage here and uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to effects here we're gonna go to effects and we see the depth map. Um, now let's see the preview and when you go to the preview is not covering. I mean the text is not behind me. Why is not behind me? Because there's uh, um, some elements that we're going to be changing now. So let's go there. So the first thing that you need to do here is that the quality is normally is at better. So we need to change it to faster and it will do exactly what you think. Let's go to the map and you see that this is gray here and this is black. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to adjust 
the map levels. The first thing we're going to do is the near limit. This is the neural engine from DaVinci Resolve that is uh, selecting intelligently what is in the foreground, what it, it thinks that is in the foreground and what it thinks that is in the background. We're going to go to the near limit and we're going to bring it back a little bit all right, to make the foreground very white. And then the far limit, we're going to move it to the right to make the far limit uh, darker, to, to make it black. Now let's go to the preview to see. And there you go. You already, the, the text is already at the back. It's not perfect yet, but it's at the back. So let's go back and refine this a little bit more. So the far limit, we make it even darker and the near limit, the near limit is, is fine the way it is. It's fine the way it is now here. Okay, we're gonna check. It's almost there. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to isolate specific depth. Isolate specific depth. And here, and here we're gonna click here. And you see that it's refining a little bit more. And then let's change the, the target depth, the target depth. And uh, I think it's pretty good here. Let's apply some softness. Okay, and let's check. And this is amazing. If you want to refine this even more, you can go to uh, Map Finesse and, and here apply some more stuff. But, you know, the way it is, this is very impressive. How many clicks we did? This is incredibly impressive. Now, it's, it's very slow. So, as you can see, but when it renders the whole thing, you will be completely surprised by the results. So you can do this with a text, you can do this with a background, you can do this ap applying effects to, 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 to the person here, to whatever it is in the, in the foreground or to whatever it is in the foreground. This is amazing. This is amazing. The new object mask can recognize and track the movement of thousands of unique objects. The Da Vinci Neural Engine intuitively isolates animals, vehicles, people and food plus countless other elements for advanced secondary grading and effect application. These features are really a game changer. And this is another easy feature to use. You just practically highlight the object, person, etc. you want to track. And after you do it, you can change the color, apply effects, etc. For instance, you can have somebody walking and the background have it in black and white or vice versa. But the thing is that you can do this just within few clicks. And what do you need to do in order to win the first and second prizes? Well, if you know me, you probably know that I love writing scripts shooting short films and, and even writing books. It brings me a lot of joy to see people creating. And so the challenge today will be to create a one minute trailer. It'll be very simple. Now, this is the time to take notes. First, you need to go to the Blackmagic Design website and download the free version of DaVinci Resolve 18, unless you already have it. Second, the challenge is to make a one minute trailer using DaVinci Resolve and only use the YouTube Studio Audio Library for music and sound design. Your trailer will be evaluated by three judges based on story, concept, used effects, emotional intensity, visual and audio skills, and pacing. The theme of the trailer is open to your imagination. Do whatever you like, except the list you will find in the document in the description. This is very important, so read it thoroughly. Each participant can submit only one video. The deadline for submissions is right here, and we will announce the winner on this date. As I already mentioned, the first prize is a DaVinci Resolve Studio license, and the second prize is one free hour masterclass with Jay Lipman to learn about DaVinci Resolve and how to grow your channel on YouTube. Start shooting and cutting, spread the word, and have fun. Can't wait to see what you're gonna be able to create. Thank you, see you next time.